Hello everyone, I am BJ Thapa and welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, you have already seen the demo of our student management system which was developed using Django framework of Python programming language and in this tutorial, I will show you how you can download and install the project in your local machine and use it for free. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So first of all, you'll need to uh, go to the GitHub repository page where you can download and install the project. So I'll add the link to this page in the description below. But if you have watched the previous video, then you already know the link and you, al you are already here in this page. And in this page, I have already listed the instruction to download and install this project. And it is pretty clear and we will also follow this instruction to download and install in this machine. So first of all, uh, there are some prerequisites. They are you need to download and install. First thing is Git version control. So if you go to this link, then you can download and install the Git version control. It it is uh, pretty easy to download and install. It is like installing any other application. Similarly, you will also need to download and install Python. So you will need to download and install latest version of Python. Just click on download button and then download and install. It is easy. And similarly, you will also need to download and install a Python package manager, which is pip and the link is here. So if you go to this link and here it will take you and then in the command prompt, uh, you will need to copy and paste this and then uh, type enter and then you will also download need to download and install this. So this is pretty easy. If you follow the instruction, uh, you will easily download and install this. And after downloading these uh, prerequisites, uh, you will have to go to the next step, which is creating a folder where you will save the project. So let's create a folder in our desktop. So I'll create a folder in desktop where I will save the project. So right click new folder and I'll give its name as DZNG Django minus student. So the name of our folder is Django Jazz student uh, try to uh, not add try not to add any spaces between the name so i have connected the two words with minus or hyphen sign and inside it we will add the project but first let's check the instruction so the second thing after creating the folder is to install the virtual environment and create a virtual environment where we will be adding our project so let's go to our folder and to do this i will use our git bash if you are on mac or linux you can also use either git bash or a terminal so to access the git bash inside this folder i will just right click and click on git bash here and it will open the git bash inside our folder and here we need to install the virtual environment so the code to install virtual environments is pip install virtual e and v so this is the command to install the virtual environment after typing this i'll press enter and it will install virtual environment and it is saying uh, to upgrade the pip uh, for us but it's okay for now after uh, installing the virtual environment we need to create a virtual environment so let's check the instruction so this is the command to install the virtual environment and then we need to create a virtual environment so the code is python uh, minus m v e n v v e n b this is the name of the virtual environment it can be anything but for easy access uh, we will use the same v e n v and for mac here is python 3 uh, since we are using uh, python 3 version we are not using python 2 so we need to specify python 3 on mac uh, sometimes it don't do not work with python only and since i am on windows i will use this which is python space minus m vnv vnb so let's go to our git bash and here python dash m venv space venv and uh, press enter and it will create a virtual environment for us inside our django student so let's wait and it will create a virtual environment inside our django student folder so it's it has created the virtual environment so let's minimize this browser and let's check 
the folder and here inside the VNB we have a virtual environment VNB and inside the scripts we have activate so we need to activate it manually so let's go to the command prompt uh, but before activating it let's see the instruction so we have completed this step which is uh, creating a virtual environment then we need to activate it so for windows it is source venb slash script slash activate for mac is it uh, source venb bin slash activate so the difference is on scripts and bin folder so let's go to our command prompt or git bash and here we will type source v v e n v slash scripts slash activate and it will activate our virtual environment so i'll press enter and here you can see uh, v e n v inside the parenthesis this means our virtual environment is activated so i'll just clear the terminal for now clearly clear it will clear our screen and now uh, you can see VNB. this means we have activated the virtual environment now we are ready to download and install our uh, project so let's go to this folder and to download and install we can click here and this is the link so you can just click on here and it will copy or you select it and press ctrl and c and then you can type git clone and space and here we need to paste that link so i'll just right click and paste it here and press enter or you can just uh, copy this all of this and paste it in the git bash or terminal so i have added the link already so you can just copy and paste i just uh, type the type the same thing here so i'll press enter and it will add the uh, and it will add this project in our repository so let's wait it is downloading currently so the project has downloaded successfully let's check the folder and here we have django student management system so this is our whole project so we will access this project and install the project okay so let's go to git bash and after this step we need to go to this that project which is Django student management system so let's go to git bash and here cd dzng Django student management system you can just copy and paste it here i just typed it and we are inside Django student management system here and then uh, after installing the project or after accessing the project we need to install the, all the requirements there are uh, some requirements uh, to use the project so we will install them by running this command which is pip install r dash requirements.txt and you can see the requirements uh, inside the project so i'll go to the project folder open the project and here are the requirements which is requirements.txt so without this uh, things installing on our application our project will not run so we need to install all of these things first so i'll close it and let's uh, install all of those requirement so the command is pip install hyphen r requirements dot txt and press enter and it will automatically uh, download and install all of those requirements so let's wait it is downloading and installing all of those requirement for us uh, the time to download and install will depend upon the speed of your internet so you might have to wait uh, longer if the internet connection is slow uh, but if it's fast then it will be downloaded and installed very fast i'll just expand it and it is installing so let's wait for some more time now it has all uh, it has downloaded and installed all the requirements for us successfully now we need to make some changes in our settings file so let's go to our project so i'll open the project and we need to open uh, the settings file inside student management system so go to student management system and here we have settings.py file and we need to uh, add the host 
to run our project in our local machine so we need to make changes on this file so i'll right click and open with or let's see what do we have here let's see we have visual studio code so i'll open with visual studio code you can open with any code editor uh, if you have sublime text you can open and use with sublime text and in our allowed host section we will add quote single quote and inside that we will add star or asterisk this means it will allow all those for now it is not recommended in production level server uh, production application but since it is it will run on our local ma machine uh, it's okay so just save it by pressing ctrl and s and then let's minimize it and let's minimize it as well and we have also completed the fifth stage now we need to run the server so to run the server we have a command which is python manage.py run server and if you are on mac or linux you need to add three extra three which is python 3 and then let's uh, run the server so i'll go to git bash i will clear once again and here i will type the code to run the server which is python manage.py run server so that's it press enter and it will run server for us so let's wait it is running our server now our server is running successfully so let's access uh, the project in this url so i'll just copy this copy this url ctrl and c sorry sorry it executed uh, ctrl c just stops uh, the server so i'll need to type the code again which is python manager py run server and our server is running so i'll just copy it and right click it and copy and let's paste it here Control v and let's press enter and our project is here and it is running successfully so let's log in so to log in i will use uh, the admin credentials which is admin at the gmail dot com and password is also admin a d m i n press enter and here is the dashboard of our admin login we can access everything so this is it so this is it guys this is how you can download and install the project and run the project successfully so thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe and if you like this project then please 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 add a star in my git repository so that many other can find this repository and use it for educational purpose and keep in mind that this is only for educational purpose this is not ready for our production level application so once again thanks so much for watching once again thanks so much for watching don't forget to uh, subscribe and click on that bell icon so that you will get notified whenever i upload new videos so i'll see you on new video till then stay safe take care see you soon bye bye